What's up, Doc? Dr. Craig Burns with LimitlessPractice.com. So in this little episode of Traffic Talk while we're driving, because again, I typically have some of my best thoughts and conversations while I'm on the road. Now, my disclaimer, which I'll open with every single video is, I'm not gonna be looking at the camera too often. I'm not gonna be a distracted driver, so I'm gonna keep my eyes on the road unless I'm at a stop at the traffic light stopped like I am now. But now as we get going, we're gonna talk about discounts. The discount mentality. We're gonna talk about, just briefly, um, and the reason we're talking about this is because I just unpackaged, produced a great episode on discounts, all things relating to discounts. And we talked about um, how to recognize good advice from bad advice, how to recognize if your current perspective on the whole matter is limitless or limited, if it's helping you or hurting you. And I'm not gonna be able to go through all that stuff. I got, don't have show notes in front of me. Everything was perfectly produced. It took two to three hours to create. It's all there if you're already a member of LPE, but let's just share a couple thoughts on this because a lot of people, a lot of yahoos and gurus are saying a lot of stupid shit about discounts and how you should never offer a discount, ever, and how discounts only devalue care. Now, disclaimer here, there's plenty of ways to offer discounts really well, and there's plenty of ways to do it bad. And you kind of need to figure out where, on what side of that fence you stand and what you're going to do and how you're going to design your strategy. Discounts have been around since 1887. Coca-Cola kicked it off with the first coupon. So since 1887, the human population has been socially conditioned to respond to discounts. So I think that anybody who just has blanket statements, such as you should never offer a discount and discounts always devalue care, is an idiot. I don't think that's good advice and I don't think they should be giving it. I don't think they should be an advice giver no matter how good they sound, no matter how passionate they might be, no matter who hired or put them on a stage to say that shit. Because if you study the history, the science, and the psychology behind the discount mentality, you're operating against what people have been socially conditioned to respond to. You can use discounts to attract new business, reactivate new business. You can use them in a highly strategic, remarkably effective manner to engage people, to attract people. And again, there's tons of ways to do it wrong. I fell into the same trap, offering discounts the wrong ways, realizing that I was devaluing care and I was minimizing the bottom line. So don't do that. But there literally is a history, science, and psychology behind why this is important why we should study it at least a little, if not a lot, and try to get it right and always be innovating how we are engaging the discount mentality. So I found that a lot of people who might say these statements, whether they're marketers, whether they're chiropractors, whether they're coaches or mentors, my belief is the vast majority of them are offering this advice. Again, no matter how well-respected they might be, a lot of times their opinions on the matter stem from shitty, flawed, limited experiences that stem from or sourced from shitty, flawed, limited approach to how they were doing things. So the approach designed a bad experience and they formulated a very strong opinion about the matter. And then they propagate that amongst the industry. Wrong, that should not be happening. So how to know if you got it right, you don't got it right. How to know if somebody else that you follow is giving you good advice and whether you should follow them a little more closely or stop following them. If somebody were just to say blanket statements like the A4 mentioned versus saying, look, there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. Study the science, the psychology behind it. Figure out how, what people respond to, what they don't respond to, and how to engage that, that inner nature, that innate sense to pay attention and react and take action and use that to your advantage. Use that to your advantage so you can best use it to their advantage. Get them attracted, get them in, help them experience what real chiropractic is and help them continue on with their relationship with chiropractic indefinitely so they can gain massive value. Anything other than that is a limited, flawed opinion that we probably shouldn't be paying two cents for or paying any attention to. That's my, I think it's more than two cents. <laughs> That's my 10 cents on the discount mentality and people offering crappy advice and who you should be following and shouldn't be following. 
lucky for you, if you are a member of Limitless Practice Peak, because you should go to, I believe it's episode number 222, and you can unpackage that whole concept. We go through the history, the science, psychology. We lay out plenty of ways of how to do it right, how to do it wrong, how to stop losing money, how to not devalue care at all, and how to attract people, how to get them to take action on a lot of your special offers or internal referral marketing promos. My God, when you get it right, limitless potential and possibility. Yeah, and profits and profitability. Kind of where we all want to be, but all of us have a different strategy for how we're getting there. Always be upgrading your strategy, always be upgrading your outcome, and you will always be upgrading your income. If you want to do, if you want to take what you're doing and make it better as fast as possible in all kinds of ways and for all ways, go to LimitlessPractice.com, activate a basic membership. You will be so glad you did.